Okay, today I'm just going to quickly run you through how to get the Zoom H1 working as a USB microphone for your computer. So when you plug it in, you can see on my one, USB is the only option and that is just basically to transfer files. There's no audio option on there. So when we switch it on, you'll be able to see it just quickly flashes up in the top of the screen 110 and that is the firmware that my Zoom H1 is currently on. So their, the firmware version now is up to 2.10. So what we're gonna do is head over to the Zoom website and you'll see up there in the top corner, there's the link for 2.10. So we're gonna go down and grab that. It's just a zip file. And then inside that zip file, we've got two different files. We've got the instructions PDF and there's a .bin file. So with the mic connected to your computer, just drag the bin file into the root of the Zoom H1, and then that's it, just eject it, there's nothing to do in there. And then from the instructions, it will tell us how to boot it up with a new firmware. So all we need to do is hold down that play and pause button whilst we're sliding down the power button and that will take us into a, a, a firmware boot up screen rather than just switching the mic on. And then it's going to load a little bit more than it normally does and it will come up with a screen telling us what firmware we're on and what firmware we've just put onto the card. So in this case it's going to say 110 to 2.10. And then we're going to hit the record button to say, OK, let's update that. OK, now the process probably takes about 30 seconds to a minute, but I've sped it up so you don't have to watch the whole thing. But just make sure you wait until it says done. Don't switch it off or do anything until it says done. And then once it does say that, the best thing to do is just switch it off and then we can reboot the mic just to check if um, that firmware update has correctly run because when we switch it back on like before we'll be able to just see up in that top corner that it should say 210 and not 110 in this case so you know it's up to date and you know it's all working correctly and then from there um, to get the audio interface, what we need to do is to switch the mic off because it will only work when it's off. If you plug the USB in while it's switched on, it won't do anything. It, it has to be switched off. So just switch the mic off, plug the USB in. So what it's saying is when the mic is off and we plug it into the computer with USB, rather than just giving us that one USB option, it's going to scroll through audio and the old card option as it's now called um, all you need to do as it's cycling through you just need to press the record button when audio is shown um, one important thing when you go into this function you'll notice you need to press select twice so the numbers at the top will flash on the first time you press select on the audio functions you can record at 44 100 or you can record at 48 thousand so when you're doing it, um, it will be flashing 44 and then all you need to do is press the next track button and you cycle between 44 and 48. Just to double check that the Zoom H1 is coming up on the machine, we'll quickly just jump into the sound preferences. I'm on a Mac control panel for the PC. Um, if I jump into here, when I plug it in and I've selected the, um, the rate I want to record at and um, hit OK, you'll see now the H1 pops in as an input. So thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like or better yet, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.